Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Are, are, you are in dark. Sorry? You are in the in dark. I'm in, in the, the darkness. darkness. It's, <laughs> the the darkness. lamp is kind of crazy. <clears throat> it turns on and turns off. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> like flashing. So I look. think I I think there is something in your in your room. <laughs> it's it's happening very very recent and i think the lamp is is a little crazy <laughs> yeah maybe yeah how was your day okay i went to the doctor because i have an allergy and she said that it is a big problem because when you touch me when you just how me or you or I, or I take something the my my skin begins to to be let, red and I why mm -hmm. feel um, I want to to rush and she said I, I had to go to the allergologo 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 I don't know, I know how they say allergologo uh, what is that Aller, allergologo because I need, uh, I need an allergist, some maybe an allergist. I need a vaccine, some vaccines for three years to 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 work in that. Then I okay. have to, I have to do that. Okay, guys, don't don't think I am in a disco. It's it's, it's a problem <laughs> with my lamp, and yeah, I'm sorry <laughs> that it's kind. Of, I would like to be in a disco, but by the way, but no, it's it's I am not in the disco, okay? Uh, well, to nice to I see will you, want to believe you. Suddenly, I get like blind. I mean, I don't think <laughs> like my eyes are like I used to feel like like the dark, and suddenly it like it get me like it, it gets um it makes me feel like I got blind because it suddenly turn it on. Oh, sorry. Why you you don't turn off better? Ah, uh, it's the same thing. Uh huh. Maybe. No. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey guys, thank you for being on time. Thank you for, um. Um. Yeah. Uh, being uh, in the class, I understand that uh, we have many things to do. I understand that we have finished everything, so we don't have anything else to clarify, right? So we we will just do a basic uh summary or yeah, like a review of different topics that probably you need to polish. All right. <clears throat> so, uh huh. Do you have questions regarding any topic, guys? Well, yesterday that we did the the passive passive boy exercise. I don't know why uh, passive we... passive boy boy or voice boys. Uh, I don't know why we. It took a lot of time, no? I, I, I was, I was, I had been working on that for like two days, and I couldn't finish because I, I, I think it, it wasn't clear because I don't know, I couldn't do it. And yesterday when we were doing it, the, the, the last part that we finished, finished, I, I thought that uh, all of us we had a little bit problem in that, on that, but maybe we'll have to review. Just to review that that exercise. Okay, well, yesterday I understood that everybody had finished every little every, every little uh, exercise. 
So, um, and we actually finish the exercise. Which is the exercise you say you're are you talking about? No, no, the last the last uh, part that we finished yesterday. That all of us we were going, we're going we we're, uh, we were working on that and like we had a little bit problem in that part, no? The part that we were doing in the last part. I sent you the yeah yeah the yeah, answers in WhatsApp. Yeah. yeah yeah you do it. <clears throat> you did. I I okay. had. Yeah. So there and, you have the answers, right? Yeah yeah right. So um. Is that the part that you're missing? No, 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 I finished everything. No, it was that just uh, reminding you that that part, maybe it wasn't clear because we had problem doing that. But we also finished then. The... Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And in any case, if you have any question, uh, well, right now is the time, right, to to clarify the if there is anything that you are missing. Uh, but we were supposed to finish that yesterday, so today yeah, yeah. we will just we do a review. A review, okay. Uh, a specific question: If you have any um anything to um you know reinforce, maybe. So you can tell me. <clears throat> uh huh. No. <clears throat> no. Okay. I have some notes, but I cannot see anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me one moment. Okay, so right now you're going to help me with the tenses of all the verbs that we have already studied. I understand and I hear that in some cases you're not using the verb tenses correctly, <laughs> right? So I want you to reinforce, for example, the simple present. <clears throat> when can we use the simple present, guys? We use it for? I understand that we use it to describe the activity we do every day. I mean, the basic daily. <clears throat> of course. So simple present is for routines, right? And to talk about also locations, to talk about um, who you are, so we're talking about the simple present. However, we have the simple present of the verb to be, <clears throat> which is a little different from the rest. It has, for example, the three conjugations that is am, they are am, is, is and are. are. All right, good. Now for the simple, Okay, now for simple, for simple past with the verb to be, we all we only change what? Was and were. Exact. Okay. So. Was and were.
they um <clears throat> so example example in simple present i saw a movie yesterday just oh, no, with was, the, the simple uh, yeah. present with the simple yeah. present of the verb to be yeah Uh huh. They were they were tired. In simple present, it, it would be. I'm a student. I'm a English student. Uh huh. Can you repeat, please? I'm an English student. Okay. I am an English student. All right. Simple like that. And in simple pass, uh, help me, uh, give me an example, Ang Angela, using where? Um, I was... Uh, using where? Oh, yeah, yeah. I will. She was using where? I. Usamos where en lugar de was. Ya tenemos un es un. Um... Uh, uh, they, ¿Cuándo they ocupamos were... ocupar? ¿Cuándo podemos ocupar el where, Ángela? Eh, when I the, the pronounce eh, they, we, you. With plurals, ¿ok? So they. Mm -hmm. They eh, were. Mm -hmm. They were. They were students. Ajá. Está diciendo que to, todos con todos los, los sujetos. Eh, we, they, we, we, eh, we, you, and they ocupamos where. ¿Qué, ¿Cuál sería el ejemplo entonces? So, solo me le falta el complemento. They were studying English. Ok. Va, ahí le estuvieron ayudando mandándole en el chat, ¿verdad? They were in a park yesterday. They were young. All right etc. Ahí lo que usted me está diciendo, they were, ¿cómo me lo dijo nuevamente, please? They were studying. In... They were studying, ese yes, es un past right. progressive, no es un okay. simple past. Ese es un past no, progressive, past. ¿verdad? No estamos hablando okay. del pasado simple del verbo to be. Ok. <clears throat> um... Uh -huh. Vaya, so we will have the verb eh, or the tense, ¿verdad? ¿De qué, de qué tiempo estamos hablando? Eh, the verb tense. This is the... <clears throat> The affirmative form, affirmative form. Y la fórmula sería un subject plus the verb. That's it. Plus a complement. Okay, we have this, the affirmative form. Now for negative, what is the difference? Subject plus verb plus not. Uh -huh.
Okay, so ask me, uh, so, uh, do something negative, guys. <clears throat> I Any? am not rude. You are not? Rude. You're not rude. You're very That's kind. Right. Okay, nice. <laughs> so we have the subject, the verb, and if it's negative, we are not. But what happens in questions, guys? As we always say, ask me questions in simple present, Edgardo. Are you a, a doctor? Excellent. What is the structure? Just the verb and then the subject, okay? And are you a doctor? Yes, I am. Now the WH question, Angela, uh, ask me a question. Double question. Double question. Yes. Um, why? <clears throat> yeah. On the yes. And subject on oh, no. ask me the question. Ask me the question. Are you uh, are you con la WH question? Oh, what is on oh, the WH question, guys? Um <clears throat> when when are you where are you just when are you when are you <clears throat> oh, no 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 where okay what are you <clears throat> where, where are you? Where are you? Okay, in simple, uh, so in negative, <clears throat> let me see who else, who else is here. Claudia, are you there? Yes. They were in the park yesterday. Very nice, Edgardo. Um, in negative, as, tell me a negative structure for the simple present. Okay. I am not able to speak French. French. Okay. I am not able to speak, to speak French. 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 Okay. So in past, in the simple past, how do you form that, guys? The same thing, right? Do I use the verb in simple past? Just the verb in simple past, okay? Example. Send me one example, each of you in the chat. Vamos. <clears throat> Edgardo ya me dio el ejemplo. De, we were in the park yesterday. I need the negative question, the negative sentence. One, two. I was not able to speak French. I was not able to speak French. Okay, another. Come on, guys, send it to me. Cristiano didn't win the trophy yesterday. Okay, ese no estamos con el verbo to be, pero eso es en pasado y todo. Por eso quería Sim llegar a eso. Simple past, no. Simple past, pero ahorita estamos viendo del verbo Just... to be nada más, ¿verdad? Ah, Porque okay. es poco diferente. Okay. La estructura, la estructura del verbo to be, a eso quiero llegar, porque a veces me, me ponen where en lugar de did, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Y nos confundimos con los auxiliares, ¿verdad? Esto es simple past nada más, verbo to be, ¿ok? We were not in the hospital. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Ahora pregúnteme otra en, past, en simple past con WH question, Ronald. How were you able to get in the team? Okay. Aunque ya ahí se, ustedes ya me van hablando de el be able y no es el verbo to be nada más, ¿verdad? Aunque okay, igual la misma forma se conjuga, así que estamos bien. Um, <clears throat> so, why were you able? ¿Vean? Why were you able? Espérenme que no sé por qué no me deja escribir aquí. So... We were not, y si, vaya, lo que, lo que yo quiero es que estemos, where were you last night, por ejemplo, este, con WH questions, um, you were not at the hospital, esos, esos me gustan esos ejemplos, guys, um, el que me dio Claudia es present continuous, ok, ya no entra en la misma categoría de un simple present, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? ¿Cuál es la diferencia del simple present cuando ocupo el verbo to be y cuando ocupo el verbo to be en present continuous? What is the difference? Uh, what I understand is that the, the main verb is not the to be, but the, it's, okay. it's, it works as like auxiliary. Uh, exactly. The main thing of the sentence, the other verb. Correct. The verb to be is just the auxiliary, right? And the main verb is always the ing verb. That is the difference. All right. Um, we were not visiting the church. That is past, past progressive. Uh, you were not at the hospital. This is for negative. And now, talking about the present continuous, that is basically the difference. What is the, the present continuous example? Give me, give me one example, guys. Present continuous. In this case, what are the auxiliaries? The auxiliaries are. Uh -huh. Acaba de decirlo Alberto. It's the verb plus ing, right? Mm -hmm. What is the structure? It's the verb to be. Subject plus, plus subject plus to be plus, plus then plus the verb, plus verb the main verb plus ing plus ing and then the complement correct okay what are the three uh, the three the three uh, auxiliaries <clears throat> Ah, missing R. What are the three auxiliaries? Ah, oh, missing R. All right. Example then. Send it to me. They are eating pizzas. I'm playing the guitar. Very good. All right. Excellent. And negative. Send me an, an example with negative. She's living in the U.S. and playing the guitar. They are in pizza. She's listening to music. And she's not a kind person. Eh, esa ya no sería presente continuo. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They're not studying Italian. Uh, vamos, a, vamos a hablar un poco sobre las rules de cuando ocupar cómo poner la ing al final, los verbos, ¿ok? Also, uh, remember when we need to double uh, the last double. 
I went to double the consonant. <clears throat> okay. The, they're not studying English. What is missing here? The Y, all right? If the verb finishes with the Y, we continue adding ing. Yes? Studying, st studying, ing. And questions? <clears throat> in past and uh, present continuous, why are not speaking English? Okay, and Lorena, what is the subject here? Mm, I forgot. Oh, they, 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 they are not? No. Oh, sorry. So in the question, I'm sorry. And the question, the question, are they, are, are yeah. they, aren't they speaking English? Why aren't, why aren't they speaking English? All right. Mm -hmm. Are they? Uh -huh. Nice. Are they playing football? I like this one as well. So the structure is the same thing. Um, we only change this the um, the the verb to be. We add the note in negative, or we make the switch to make the questions. Now for past continuous. <clears throat> No, I'm not. I'm not kidding you. Excellent. But I have a backache, which is killing me at this time. Believe me. I feel painful. I'm feeling horrible. Okay. Uh, past continuous, past continuous. What is the difference? We have to use was and where? Just was and where, all right? So in, instead of saying they are eating pizzas, how they do you were. inform? They were eating pizzas. Okay, help me with one example, uh, Angela. Everybody send, send me examples in the chat. The past continuum. Um, past continuous affirmative. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> um. <clears throat> ah. So past continuous is the same thing. All right. The same structure for present continuous, but we just change the, instead of B, uh, M is R, we say was and where. Okay, <clears throat> example, come on. I have only Jesus, Alberto, Edgardo, Lorena, Ronald. They were not cooking. All right, what about the rest? ¿Qué pasó con los demás? Come on, come on. They were uh, watching TV. They yes. were wa watching TV. Washing. Washington. Or okay, vaya. Pero, pero la, pero la, ahí de, me está diciendo washing TV, ¿verdad? Okay, washing, watching. What's the difference? You was singing. Oh, come on, Jonathan, eso, eso está incorrecto también. Ven, todos a veces decimos, ah, esto está bien fácil, pero ahí ya veo. He was practicing some verbs, muy buen ejemplo. <coughs> Nunca decimos you was, chicos, es un errorazo, ¿ok? Ya sabemos cuándo ocupar was, ¿verdad? Y cuándo ocupar where. Yo creo que eso es más que repetitivo, ¿verdad? Entonces nunca se dice you was. ¿Estamos? Yes. yes. We were not traveling. 
this is a good example. I was playing, I was singing the concert. I was practicing some verbs. Ask me a question, ask me a question. Todos, I need a question. Um, here we are. Um, is R plus the verb of ing. And the other is was or were. <clears throat> What's he working at noon? Where do you, where are you doing your homework? Were you doing your homework yesterday? Were you doing your homework yesterday? Nice, nice, nice. Subject plus was plus were. Okay. Uh, were they sleeping so early? Okay, with WH question. Están muy bien, pero no me preguntan con WH questions. Were you wearing glasses? Were they sleeping? Why were they sleeping so early? Great. Now we have the other structure. <clears throat> Where was he working last week, okay? For simple present, what is the difference? Now, talking about the rest of the verbs, <clears throat> the simple present, we normally use um, the subject plus the verb, the main verb, but we have to add different um, structure, for example, an S, an ES, or a IES, okay? Yeah, remember that. Okay, and we use the auxiliaries. What are the auxiliaries? Um, For simple present in for the other verbs, not the verb to be. Do and ask. Do and ask, correct. Está por, de, por demás decir cuando ocupamos el das, ¿verdad? Ya lo sabemos también. Así como cuando sabemos cuando ocupar was y cuando ocupar was, ¿verdad? Eso sí, was and where. Ya creo que ya todos lo sabemos. All right. <coughs> And so I work at English Corporativo, okay? You work, she works. Siempre la tercera persona, no se les olvide, all right? Always third person. What happens if the verb finishes? Las reglas, ¿verdad? If they're, if they're finished, for example, with the letter O. <clears throat> Yo ya sé. Al. S. I N G. C H. S H. X. Help me with another. Why? No. Okay. So if they finish uh, with these letters. Guys, in that case, we will add O, E, D, E, S, okay? Example, what verbs can you say? Do, go, watch. So, the, the third person is, ella va a la, a la escuela. Mi mamá o mi hija va a la escuela. Huh? What's the difference? 
Os, goes. Goes. Mi mamá lava su ropa. <coughs> Washes. Eh, ella hace su tarea. Das. So, <clears throat> those are the rules. A kiss. Kiss. Kisses. Kisses. Huh? Mm -hmm. Fix. Fixes. Okay, so, el mecánico arregla solamente buses. How do you say that? He only fixes buses. But the mechanic only fixes buses. Only fixes buses, okay? Good. And if they finish, for example, with the Y, what happens? Study. Why? Does it change? Yeah, you, you. No, it doesn't change. You just add IES. You don't change it, okay? Mm -hmm. I fry. Oh, my my nephew cries. Every day, price. How do you spell it? T R I E S. Tries. Ah, uh, tries. Price. Price. Ah, y aquí en este caso, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué si lo ya lo quité? Because it finishing with the letter G. Uh-huh. Yeah, but it's the same in, in that in study. In the study, you, you take out the letter G and you add ES. Yeah, exactly. But um, let me see. I want to remember something. Study. Okay, that's that's it. Um uh, I don't know if I'm missing something. So the examples, what are the examples? She goes, she fixes, etc., etc., etc. But for the negative, what is the difference? You have to use do or does plus not. So the structure is <clears throat> subject plus do or does and then plus not. Do or does not and then plus complement. And the verb? On the verb, yeah. Ah, in the okay. main in the in the, in the main form. Uh-huh. So everybody sends me a negative structure, guys. Vamos, everybody send me a negative structure. Die. When we're talking about ING present continuous, we say study and we, we are ING studying. Okay. 
normally we, we remove the Y, remember? Yeah, for yeah. And ING. <clears throat> when do we remove the Y and when not? We remove when it is the third person. And we don't remove when it is uh, ING, when it is the uh, past mm -hmm. participle, present participle. No, yeah, present progressive. Past progressive. Present, no? In mm -hmm. Present progressive. Mm -hmm. Okay. But for example, die. Uh, let's see. Die. What do you think? Do you remember the difference? When we're talking about ing for past continuous or present continuous, when do we add the ing? Uh, but here, no. Okay, trying, crying, frying, we add ing, but if we have an i that all is also with the e, so in that case, we just change the ie. Aquí le quitamos el ie y lo ponemos así. For example, lie, how do you form lie? You're lying to me, guys. Mm -hmm. Die, tie, lie. <clears throat> you just add ing, ing. Like this, ing, like this, lying. Tying. Tying. No, no, Dying. No, no. <laughs> no, right? I was, no, no. I was remembering B, being, but. Is no, if it's if it's about trying, crying, frying, yes, but mm -hmm. in the other ones, no, because they we're not talking about why we're talking about I E, okay? So the I E is completely changed for the I N for the Y, okay? Look, dying. Lying. 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 Are you lying to me? <clears throat> lying. Got it? Yeah. All right. So uh, the simple pra uh, the simple simple present. What uh, what is what is your example, guys? I don't play football, you don't help me. And uh, for the third person, she doesn't, yeah? Excellent. And if we're talking about questions, <clears throat> how do you ask me? Do you like uh, to eat uh, lasagna? Mm -hmm. So the structure is just do or does, or does. plus the subject. Yeah, plus verb. Plus the verb and plus the verb. In the basic the form? May, never, never changes, right? It's only the base form. All right, so do you? Do you play? Ask me in third person, Angela. The question, teacher, on, on the negative. 
question. Uh, WH question as well. Uh, <clears throat> Where, where do you... Con das le pedí una. Con das, the third person. Ah, okay. Um... And das... WH questions. Where does where does she um she <gasps> um cualquier verbo Angela <clears throat> Any um, verb. Is, um, in? Oh, yeah. Where does she eat? All right. So in simple pass, what is the structure? The subject plus the verb in mm. pass. This is it, depending on the regular or irregular verb. This is where we use either irregular or regular verbs for the simple past. And we already know how to pronounce the regular verbs of the uh, the ED endings, especially, right? We already practice that already. We emphasize that we normally practice or say just the ED. <clears throat> in specific cases as the ending of T or D. All right, uh, so it's just the subject plus the verb in past plus the complement. What is the structure for the simple pasting negative? Help me with an example using uh, the simple past. I didn't listen to you. And uh, you didn't? Or I, I didn't listen to you. Didn't. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y varias personas me dicen, I don't listen to you, ¿verdad? Como que no me oyen, porque son sordos, porque todo, eso es un simple present. Las, las, como, la, Todas las rutinas y me dicen, I don't hear you, no te oigo. O sea, que como que todos los días es así, es así ¿verdad? No oigo porque soy sordo. ¿Ok? A decir que no te oí. So, be careful with that. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿No te oí? <coughs> I did not. I didn't hear you. I didn't, I didn't hear, hear you. you. I didn't listen to you. Ok, ahora bien. Eh, mm, oí un ruido extraño. ¿Cómo lo diría? Vamos, escríbanmelo por favor. Oí un número, un, un ruido extraño. Simple past. No. Ajá. An strange, yeah, it is it. Uh -huh. A strange, a strange, yeah, a strange, uh -huh. a strange noise. Um, una vez más, recordemos la regla de cuando ocupar a o cuando yeah. ocupar a n, verdad? La a n se ocupa nada más cuando es una vocal la que, vocal. La que está enfrente. I heard, I didn't hear, all right? Excellent. ¿Escuchaste eso? Pregúntenme, por favor. ¿Escucharon eso, chicos? Ajá, o sea que la estructura. Excellent, guys. The structure is simple 
Sí, entonces el pasado del verbo solo se pone en qué tiempo eh, o forma. Just for the past, simple past. Pero afirmativo. Afirmativo. <coughs> yeah. Just affirmative form. Okay. Only in an affirmative form. Okay. So we had now. Uh, Present perfect. Present perfect. Talking about the past and the present, okay? Simple past, <clears throat> the action is over, is finished in the past. Present perfect is the action started in the past that continues right now. What are the auxiliaries with use? Has and have. Have. Have or has. And the auxiliaries, sorry, the structure is? Subject, the subject plus the auxiliary. Auxiliary. Plus the verb in past participle. As complement. That's it. Okay, so he, uh, give me the example, guys. His bought a new ring and the negative form, guys. What is the structure? <clears throat> Angela. Solo dos personas me mandaron esa respuesta, guys. Hmm. Okay, <clears throat> a negative form. You have not a uh, You have not um, help me, Edgardo. Subject actually have not um, <clears throat> I send it in the chat. <laughs> Just add. The not uh, after the auxiliary. Come on, Angela. You have, you have had or have not um, started start in English. Mm -hmm. And ask me a question. Um, WH question.
What have you done? Okay. So what is the difference with the past perfect? <clears throat> The use same the bear, the thing. Uh -huh. So for past perfect, what are the only... But, wait, Lorena. I know that you know this already, okay? So <laughs> okay. please leave the rest to participate. Okay, okay. Um, um, so what are the only auxiliaries, uh, the difference of uh, different auxiliaries, guys? I don't think that Lorena is the only one who knows these 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 topics. <clears throat> uh huh. The difference between is have we use have for we, they, and I has for third person. Okay, but what is the difference between present perfect and past perfect? The verb. The verb? Um, yes. No, it's not the verb. In past perfect, we use beam, if I'm not wrong. No. What you mean is that the, the action has finished. So this is the... the action was happening before another action that was finished in the past. Una acción que pasó antes de la otra. Okay, antes de que la otra terminara. Pero, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Mi pregunta es esa. If I use have and has for present perfect, what's the difference for past perfect? What are the auxiliaries? The auxiliary is had. Es lo único. Thank you, Ronald. Solo le cambiamos had. Aquí todos, todos los sujetos tienen el had. Ok. Y luego la estructura sería justamente <coughs> the same thing. Subject auxiliary plus the verb in past participle and then uh, and that's it. Okay. So help me with one example. Yeah, Lorena had already a request, had already sent the example. Where have you worked before you worked there? You worked there. Okay. So, uh, so uh, how do you answer this? Where? Had you traveled this year? Donde habías viajado de, this year? Before uh, going to Brazil. Antes de ir a Brasil. Para eso ocupo un present perfect. Eh, un past perfect. ¿Por qué habías hecho esto? Antes de, de que hicieras esto otro. Got it, guys? Eso es un present. O un, <coughs> un past perfect. Ok. Uh, before going to Brazil. ¿Dónde había viajado antes de ir a Brasil? Este mes, este año. Ok. Um, so, give me the example in simple past. You can answer the same, uh, the past perfect in affirmative. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have traveled. I had, I had I traveled, traveled to Spain. Okay. So you see, I subject had traveled to Spain. To Spain. This year before. Traveling to Brazil. Before going to Brazil. Mm -hmm. That is why we use present perfect. <clears throat> so in, per, in present perfect, sorry, past perfect, and negative, 
How do you say it? For negative? <clears throat> yes, yeah, not. Just say had not. Very good, okay? So the same thing. I had not traveled to Spain this year before going to Brazil. Okay, that's it. Uh, I had not. There is where you put the not. See you tomorrow, guys. Nos falta la última clase mañana. Así que no se, mm -hmm. no se queden sin asistir. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Night. night.